what are some of the ways that I can increase my sales performance and my sales skills that may not necessarily be from sales training? I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento, California on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about how to increase your sales skills and your sales strategies. And I'm gonna label this video, get really good with conflict. And I see a lot of salespeople, I see a lot of business owners, every opportunity that they get, they're like, whoa, conflict. And they bounce out of the way and they move out as fast as they possibly can. But here's the thing, in your own personal life and everything you do, there are issues and times to have conflict. I was talking to one of my coaching clients last night and I'm driving back from San Francisco and he's telling me a story about one of the people that he works with. And I'm like, hey, look, this is the perfect opportunity for you to go have some conflict and go say what needs to be said. And he says, you know what, I'm gonna go do that. I never thought of it that way. And I said, it's gonna make you a better business owner by you having the ability to have that, that conversation that's gonna have conflict because most people are gonna shy away from it. So. In your own personal life, you should be looking for the places where you're going to have like, oh, like this conversation is going to be conflict. And I'm not saying to be a jerk. I'm saying sharpen your skills outside of the sales world so that when you're in a sale, you know what to say and you know what to do so that you know how to deal with a buyer and things roll out perfectly for you. So I'm going to tell you, this is my best sales advice. The best sales tip on this video that you're going to get is look for places for conflict so that you can go out and sharpen your skills. But do not be a jerk. Don't be arrogant and figure out how you're gonna have this conversation and the things that you're gonna do and the things the way, how you're gonna say it. Because I'm gonna promise you, that skill that you're gonna learn in your personal life will carry over into your sales life, or if you have it in your sales life, it carries over into your personal life too, okay? So that's the thing. Learn how to deal with conflict, be very good at it. Learn how to have the conversation, learn how to ask questions, learn how to keep control of your temper. I see salespeople become impatient and lose control of their temper far too often and they lose the deal. Okay? It is a huge problem. I see it happen a lot. And my best sales advice or my best sales tip for you is like it doesn't make sense to have you do that. Learn good conflict skills. Because it's going to help you in negotiation. It's going to help you when the person's like, well, I can get it done for less. It's going to help you in objections. It's going to help you when things go sideways on jobs that you sell or the products or the widgets that you sell. You can at least have that conversation. So there you go. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story. That'd be fantastic. To the right, to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then last off, you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.